certain things have happened which made, made it uh, dif more difficult to people to recognize uh, uh, what the uh, present-day Assyrians are. For instance, we have a state called Syria uh, on the political map of today. And this is, of course, originally the Roman province of Syria. And uh, it's an Arab state today. But it is originally Assyria. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is the western part of the Assyrian Empire, which was first established as a, a Babylonian province with the name Assyria, and then as a Persian province with the same name Asura, and then uh, a Roman, a Sele, uh, 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 let me see, a, a Seleucid, let's say Hellenistic province, uh, then with the same name, and so on. And, uh, uh, the, the thing here is that uh, uh, the reason why it is called Syria is that uh, in the 7th century BC, already starting in the 8th century BC, under the Assyrian Empire, the Assyrians started to drop the A at the beginning of the word. So Ashur became Shur. And the name of the language Asurit became Surit. And from that, uh, uh, Greeks got the name Surya, which later became Syria, and so on. Uh, so uh, uh, many of the uh, today's Syrians, I mean, do not know that they really originate from ancient Assyria. But the identity, Assyrian identity, has uh, better be preserved in, in the eastern part of the old Assyrian Empire, which was the so-called Assyrian heartland. In, in, uh, in the neighborhood of uh, today's Mosul. There we have the so-called uh, plain of Nineveh, where still the majority of people living there are the descendants of these ancient Assyrians. And uh, at the moment, uh, as a consequence of, of uh, 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 this uh, the war, Gulf War, war in Iraq, uh, uh, the killings, rapings and, and uh, persecutions that are going on there have forced uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, the descendants of Assyria flee from the country. They now live in exile in uh, Syria and, and, and Jordan. Uh, their life is becoming unbearable. There are, is an estimated 750,000 people living there now. And uh, they took all their possessions with them and now they are short of money whereby to live. And so uh, their visas are expiring, they have to return. But what is waiting for them in Iraq? I mean, killings, murders, rapes, things like that. They need a safe uh, place, safe heaven, like the Kurds have gotten under the U.S. umbrella. And such a heaven, safe, uh, safe heaven, has been proposed for this plain of Nineveh in the ancient Assyrian heartland. And I heartily hope, you know, that this uh, thing that is really possible on the basis of Iraq's modern constitution will become a reality. Otherwise, <laughs> uh, it may happen, you know, that uh, the history of the Assyrian nation, which has continued from ancient times until these days, will come to an end in the very near future.